we created a smarter way to study. No books, no advertisements, no high price tags. Just everything you need to study for the competitive exam in one application. Exambin's mobile app puts hundreds of videos, mock tests and thousands of questions at your fingertips. Exambin's mock test analysis gives you section wise breakup for knowing the weaker sections to prepare better. Challenge yourself with a daily test on your commute. If you need extra help, you can instantly ask them in our discussion board. Exambin's lineup streamlines your preparations for exams, giving you a powerful way to study anytime, anywhere. Download the Exambin Learning app now. To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Visit our channel and get more learning videos under playlist option. There you can find current affairs, daily vocabulary, banking awareness, aptitude and much more. Hello friends, good evening, I am Dipali. Welcome to the weekly digest of the exam win. In today's episode, we are going to see about PM goes down into a huddle with Jake Lee and Shah over the slowdown. Gauri Lankesh has been honored with Anna Potts Kalyana Award and India disputes the ILO's modern slavery report and much more. If you are watching this show for the first time, please click on the subscribe button to get the regular updates. Let's get started with today's episode. Journalist activist Gauri Lankesh, who was shot dead by the unknown assailants on September 5th, has been posthumously accorded with the prestigious Anna Potts Kalia Award, instituted by Reach All Women, which is also known as RAW in war. RAW in a statement said that it was honored to award the annual Anna Potts Kalia Award for women for human rights defenders from war and conflict zones jointly to Gauri Lankesh posthumously and to a brave Pakistani activist Gulal Islamel who similarly is fighting against the Islamic extremism. The Nobel Economic Prize has been awarded to the Richard Tahler of the University of Chicago for his contribution to the behavioral economics. Swedish Academy of Sciences and Secretary Jeanette Hansen has awarded the 9 million NOR, which is USD 1.1 million dollars prize to the Richard Tahler for his understanding of the psychology of economics. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the Swedish Ritik Brands Prize in Economic Science in memory of the Alfred Nobel 2017 to Richard H. Tahler for his contribution to the behavioral economy. Richard H. Thaler has incorporated the psychologically realistic assumptions into the analysis of economic decision making by exploring the consequences of limited rationality, social preferences and lack of self-control. He has shown how these human traits systematically affect the individual decision as well as the market outcomes. At a time when the credit growth is at an historic low, State Bank of India's chairman designate Ranjish Kumar has said that reviving the loan growth will be his top priority apart from the resolution of stressed assets. Mr. Kumar said in a teleconference with the media that reviving the credit growth and resolution of stressed assets that is the topmost challenge. The four-year term of Arundhati Bhattacharya, who is the first woman chairman of the State Bank of India, has come to an end on Friday. Under the, her leadership, SBI had capitulated the elite group of top 50 banks in the world following the merger of five associate banks and the Bharatiya Mahila Bank with effect from April 1, 2017. In a free-wheeling interaction with the media, Bhattacharya, who has served the bank for four decades, shared her thoughts 
on a host of issues including the future plans, reforms and asset resolution. The Reserve Bank of India has said in a notification that it will soon release the guidelines for prepaid instruments which is also known as PPIs that allow all KYC complaint wallets such as Paytm, Mobivic, Oxygen, Freecharge and Citrus among others to be able to transact with each other from April 2018. The RBI will be issuing the master directions by October 11, 2017. The country's third largest private sector lender Axis Bank has said that it has acquired the payment wallet free charge for Rs 373 crore in an all cash deal and appointed Sangram Singh as its CEO. Axis Bank has said that the acquisition will double the customer base of the bank and leapfrog its digital journey by multiple years. Passive euthanasia, which is the act of withdrawing the life support to a terminally ill patient, is already the law of the land, the government has told a constitution bench of the Supreme Court. The government said it was finalizing a draft law on passive euthanasia called the Management of Patients with Terminal Illness Withdrawal of Medical Life Support Bill which was drawn up in the line with the recommendation of the Law Commission of India that the life support can be withdrawn for patients in persistent vegetative state which is also known as PPS or suffering from irreversible medical conditions. Audit companies should monitor the flow of funds to unlisted subsidiaries including those established overseas while listed entities should be put in place properly regulatory framework while sharing the unpublished price sensitive information with promoters or any other significant shareholders, the Security and Exchange Board of India's panel on governors has proposed. Wipro Digital, the digital business unit of the software major Wipro, has acquired Cooper, which is a company that provides the user experience for an undisclosed sum. A move that could strengthen the capabilities of Webro in the emerging segment, Cooper will become a part of the design net, which is the Wipro's digital strategic design arm. The acquisition strengthens Wipro's digital design capabilities and expands its reach into the North America. The European Investment Bank will lend 300 million euros for Bangalore Metro Rail Project Phase 2 Line R6. The agreement was signed by S. Selva Kumar, Joint Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs, Union Ministry of Finance and Andrew McDowell, who is the Vice President. India is likely to witness the surplus sugar production during the next two years on account of a bumper sugar cane crop. According to the OP Dhanuka, who is the CMD of Riga Sugar Pra Company Limited, Production of sugar in the financial year 2017-18, marketing year of October to September, is likely to be close to 25.5 million tons, a growth of 25% over the last year on higher sugarcane area. The country's annual consumption is pegged at 24 million tons. Taxman, an authorized goods and services tax with a provider, which is also known as GSP has partnered with the Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited to assist the corporates and SMEs in managing GST compliance with the Taxman BSNL, One Solution Software. The software ensures the simplified workflow and offers the capability to facilitate data import from any accounting software or ERP, location management, reconciliation, etc. An official source has said that the government will not be able to extend the tax and duty related concessions to the iPhone maker Apple under the new indirect tax regime as an effort to promote make in India and not import. We have already high customer duties on smartphone and imports of its part. So it is clear that we do not want to encourage the imports and rather encourage the make in India.
Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has said that the government will soon get the cabinet approval for setting up a high-powered think tank under the Ministry of Petroleum to look into the key issues such as the setting up of the gas network across the country. Mr. Pradhan has also reiterated the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's commitment to the COP21 agreement concluded at the Paris leg of the Climatic Change Conference. Indian banks' sole loans hit a record of 9.5 trillion rupees at the end of the June. Unpublished data shows suggesting that the Asia's third largest economy is no longer nearing to bringing its bad debt problems under control. A review of the Reserve Bank of India data obtained through the Right to Information request shows that the bank's total stressed loan, including the non-performing and reconstructed or rolled over loans, rose to 4.5% in the six months to the end June. In the previous six months, it had risen to the 5.8%. A top executive has said that hit by the effects of the demonetization, Toy Maker Fund School India has turned its attention towards the exports to sustain the growth momentum due to the demonetization. K. John Baby, CEO of Fund School India Limited, has said, Unfortunately, we are working in a major way on the export, and that's paying off now. The first three women fighter pilots on the country are likely to fly the MIG-21 Bison Jets, one of the potent combat efforts in the IAF's armory. The three women pilots, Afni Chaturvedi, Bhavna Kant and Mohana Singh are set to script history next month when they will fly the military jets after completing a sternness training program within three weeks. In an unusual role reversal, the opening session of the World Economic Forum India Economic Summit was witnessed to the industry representatives worrying about the job market amid the layoff by top firms while the cabinet minister termed the spate of the job reduction as a good omen for the India's youth as they strive to be the job creators instead of the job seekers. In what should come as a relief to the exporters and small businesses, the GST Council on Friday has announced a slew of decisions to reduce their compliance burden, including the eventual settling up of an e-wallet for input tax credits for exporters and the option for small businesses to file returns and pay taxes only once a quarter. The change comes after the two days when the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that he had instructed the council to find solution to the problem being faced by the traders. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the union government would consult the states on bringing the petroleum products into the ambit of the GST. Mr. Modi was reacting to the suggestion from the industry leaders to bring the petroleum products that now face high central and state levies into the GST net at an official meeting with head honkers of the oil and gas industry. Kathak and tap dancers, the Sarad and the organ has come together in a gala in central London as the South Bank Centre hosted over 150 artists from across Britain and India for an event pegged as the highlight of the 2017 India-UK Year of Culture. Among the performers were the British opera singer Patricia Rosario, Sarod player Swami Datta and the Radiohead guitarist Johnny Greenwood. The government has written to the International Labour Organization, which is also known as ILO, challenging a recent study on modern slavery conducted by the Australia-based Walk Free Foundation, which is also known as WFF, on behalf of the global body. The report does not mention India. The Labour Ministry shot off a strong letter to the ILO regarding its report titled The Global Estimates of Modern Slavery, Forced Labour and Forced Marriage 2017. The report, released on September 19, does not contain any India-specific findings bearing a mention that 17,000 people were interviewed for the survey. 
US President Donald Trump has proposed a merit-based immigration system that could benefit highly skilled Indian workers but prevents them from sponsoring their extended families as a part of aggressive plan which he said will serve the national interest. However, there was no reference to the H-1B visas which is the most sought after by the Indian IT professionals in the proposal which Mr. Trump sent to the Congress. China's Minjoo University is offering the country's first master's degree in yoga in what appears to be a clear signal that the soft power is being deployed to reactivate the India-China ties in the aftermath of the 10th Stockholm standoff. The China Youth Daily and the official newspaper of the Communist Party of China has reported that the university located in Kuoming has started accepting application for the China's first master's degree course in yoga. India's Defence Secretary Sanjay Mitra has said during a three-day visit to the UK ahead of the next meeting of the two Prime Ministers of India and Britain hope to agree on concrete measures to take forward their defence partnership by the next year. The meeting of the two leaders is widely anticipated to take place at the Commonwealth Heads of the Government meeting in London on April 2018. Nisha Desai Biswal, who is the former US Assistant Secretary of the State for South and Central Asia, has been appointed as the president of the U.S. India Business Council, which is also known as USIBC, a forum of the U.S. businesses under the U.S. Ch Chamber of Commerce. The USIBC has been at the center of the recent controversy after its previous board has decided to set up the new organization called the U.S. India Strategic Partnership Forum, which is also known as USISPF, breaking away from the chamber. London Mayors Sadiq Khan and the Deputy Ma Mayor Rajesh Agarwal are to visit India and Pakistan later during this year. In the first official trip by a senior British politician to both the countries as city authorities, seek to reassure the businesses and others across the world of the resonance and the strength of the city post Brexit. He is set to visit New Delhi, Mumbai and Amritsar and then he is going to travel to Lahore, Islamabad and Karachi. After promising to take all the necessary steps to revive the economy and fix the problems faced by the businesses on account of the switchover to the GST regime, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held extensive talks with BJP President Amit Shah and Finance and Corporate Affairs Minister Mr. Arun Jaitley to work on traffic, parking management and maintain the roads in the most effective manner. Niti Aayog and International Road Federation has signed a statement of intent on to cooperate in intelligence transport systems. The collaboration will focus on upgrading the parking solution in the cities, road safety, reducing urban traffic congestion, and improving the security of passengers and traffic. A government commission study has said that the Soil Health Card scheme is progressing well despite the challenges such as the inadequate staff, lack of power supply, and internet connectivity among others. Under the scheme launched in February 2015, soil health cards have been distributed to nearly 10 crore farmers so far against the target of 12 crore as per the official figures. The card which will be issued every 3 years provides information to farmers on the nutrient status of the soil along with the recommendations on proper dosage of soil nutrients to be applied for improving the soil health and its fertility. The union government has made linking Aadhaar card mandatory for the Public Provident Fund, which is also known as PPF, the National Savings Certificate, NSC, and the Kisan Vikas Patra, which is also known as KVP. In a series of four notifications,
notifications. The government has said that the existing subscribers have time till December 31st, 2017 to link their Aadhaar. The Indian Navy has thwarted a piracy attempt against an Indian bulk carrier in the Gulf of Aden. A Navy spokesperson, Captain D.K. Sharma, has said that the stealth frigate INS Trishur thwarted a piracy attempt on Indian registered merchant vehicle Jag Amar at 12.30 pm on Friday. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu has said the Vishakhapatnam would emerge as the major center for the technology in the next few years as his government is encouraging the innovators and companies working in the field to invest and work from here. Naidu has said that the nine companies had already arrived in the fintech valley, Vizag, and several more were mean on setting up the centers here. The state was building up the largest repository of use cases and it would be of immense help to those working in the field. With the Supreme Court banning the sale of the firecrackers in the Delhi NCR region till and after Diwali, has, can the Delhi breathe a sight of relief? Not yet, says the expert. The air of Delhi is saturated with pollutants and the city's dark cloud would need more than its silver lining. But the experts have welcomed the Supreme Court's order on Monday banning the sale of firecrackers in Delhi NCR region till October 31st. The Bete Bachao Bete Padhao is observed for a week from 9th October to 14th October 2017. The scheme is implemented in 161 district of the country which includes the R.I. Bohur district in our state where the sex ratio of the girl child is low compared to the opposite sex. The scheme deals not only to stop the female infanticide but to look into the education and health aspects of the girl child and scheme is focused on laying the education, skill, vocational and counselling and entrepreneurship so that the girl could one day support herself. Ayurveda may have got its most futuristic update yet. A multidisciplinary team of scientists, including the statisticians, geomonomics experts, and Ayurveda researchers, computer scientists, have developed a software using big data and machine learning approaches that can effectively classify people into three dominant types of constitution that underline the Ayurvedic treatment philosophy. India may have a Namir or Ronaldo waiting to be unhurted. This tournament shall be showcasing the state of India's junior football and the system may quite possibly stumble upon a more like a Messi or a Nemir. A vociferous audience participated in India's endeavor to make a fight of it in the group fixture in the FIFA Under-17 World Cup at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi. If only India could shackle Juan Penozola, who knocked in for the goal for Colombia in the 49th and 82nd after Jixin Thornajum has equalized in the 81st with a header from a corner. Off spinner Dhiruval Prina has finished the five wickets to help Sri Lanka beat Pakistan by 68 runs in the second test in Dubai and take the series to 2.1. Pereira had figures of 5 to 98 as Pakistan chasing a tough 317 runs to win were balled out for 248 in the second half of the fifth and the final day at the Dubai Stadium. Left arm pacer Jason Brandov's a sensational spell set up the eighth wicket win for the Australia against India in the second T20I at the ACA Bank Rospara Cricket Stadium. Chasing India's modest 118, the visitor cruised home in the 16th over with Moises Henriksen 62 not out and Travis Head 48 not out, taking the team home after the openers Aaron Finch and Captain David Warner had fallen cheaply. Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu has laid the foundation stove 
for rupees 675 crore megasi park to come up on a 650 acre land at tangat chanda in jupadu bungalow wonder in kurnool district Mr Naidu has said that the mega sea park was being established in accordance with a memorandum of understanding signed last year by the state government with the Iowa University in the US which had developed 350 new seed varieties and was collaborating with 80 countries The small hamlet of Kesari Wal Kadavu where the rivers of Pampa and Manilama meet there near Tiruvalla witnessed a historic event in the post temple entry proclamation period when a dalit has assumed charge as the head of priest which is also known as melsanti at a 150 year old manapuram shiva temple attached to the travancore devasthan board the 22 year old yudi krishna is the first ever dalit melsanti to be appointed by the tb D. At the swearing-in ceremony held at the Raj Bhavan, the Chief Justice of Madras High Court, Justice Indira Banerjee, administered the oath of office to the Purohit. Purohit took oath in the name of the court. Chief Minister K. Palini Sami, his cabinet colleagues and DMK working president and the leader of opposition in the assembly M. K. Stalin were among those present at the ceremony. Now let's begin with the quiz session of the day. Who is the first Indian journalist to win Anna Politkovskaya award? Option A Barkha Dutt, option B Madhu Trehan, option C Sagarika Ghosh, option D Gauri Lankesh, option E Nidhi Rajdhan. In 15 seconds you can type in your answers in the comments below. The right answer is Gauri Lankesh. Who has been awarded for the Nobel Economics Prize this year? Option A, Jeffrey C. Hall. Option B, Kazuo Ishiguro. Option C, Michael Rosbach. Option D, Richard Thaler. Option E, Rainer Weiss. Type in your answers in the comments below and if you know any other Nobel winners this year, those names can also be revealed in your comments the right answer is richard thaler which of the following indian nobel prize winner is associated with economics option a vs naipaul Option B Amartya Sen, Option C C V Raman, Option D Dr. Hargobind Corona, Option D Rabindranath Tagore. Type in your answers in the comments below. The right answer is Amartya Sen. Which bank launched FTSC India's first bond index series for overseas investors? Option A SBI Bank, Option B Axis Bank, Option C HDFC Bank, Option D Indian Bank, Option E Indian Overseas Bank. Type in your answers in the comments below in 15 seconds of time with additional information you know regarding this news. The right answer is SBI Bank. What is the ranking of Arundhati Bhattacharya in world's 50 greatest leaders by Fortune magazine? Option A 25, option B 26, option C 27, option D 28, option E 29. Arundhati Bhattacharya was the outgoing SBI chairman and the new chairman's name you can comment below and you can you should also comment the Arundhati Bhattacharya's ranking in Fortune magazine within 15 seconds. The right answer is 26. Which of the following is India's first social mobile wallet? Option A, Udio. Option B, Paytm. Option C, Mobikiv. Option D, Free Charge. Option E, Geo Pay. 
get your answers and comment below with the question number and if you know any additional information regarding mobile wallet that also can be given in the comments we will appreciate each and every comment that is being posted that is valuable in terms of information the right answer is audio Which bank acquired free charge mobile wallet in all cash deal? Option A, HDFC Bank. Option B, IDBA Bank. Option C, ICICI Bank. Option D, Dana Bank. Option E, Access Bank. Type in your answers in the comments below within 15 seconds and also add some information regarding free charge or the answer you are looking for. The right answer is Access Bank. Which of the following is correct regarding euthanasia? 1. Netherlands was the first nation to legalize euthanasia and assisted suicide. 2. India allows passive euthanasia under exceptional circumstances. 3. Euthanasia is the practice of intentionally ending a life in order to relieve pain and suffering. A. 1 only B. 2 only C. 3 only D. 1 and 3 only E. All of the above. The right answer is all of the above. SEBI has relaxed investment rules for which funds? Option A mutual funds, option B debt funds, option C angel funds, option D equity funds, option E balanced funds. The right answer is angel funds. Which software major company has acquired Cooper, a user experience design and strategy firm? Option A Infosys, Option B TCS, Option C CTS, Option D Wipro, Option E LNT. In 15 seconds, type in your answers in the comment below. The right answer is Wipro. Which investment banks will be financing Bangalore Metro Rail Project Phase 2? Option A Citigroup and Barclays Investment Bank, Option B Deutsche Bank and Morgan Stanley Investment Bank, Option C European Investment Bank and Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Option D HSBC and BNP Paribas, Option E Wells Fargo Securities and BMO Capital Markets. In 15 seconds, you can type in your answers in the comments below and if you know any other information regarding investment bank or Bangalore Metro Rail project that also can be given in the comments. The right answer is European Investment Bank and Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Which of the following is a cash crop in India? Option A rice, option B wheat, option C sugarcane, option D jute, option E jower. Type in your answers in the comments below and add your information regarding the right answer if you know anything else. The right answer is sugarcane. Who has been partnered with Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited to assist corporates and SMEs in managing GST compliances? Option A Thera Software Limited, Option B Taxman, Option C Velasis Systems Private Limited, Option D Spice Digital Limited, Option E Board Tree Consulting Limited. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comments below.
the right answer is taxman which company is major in assembling apple iphones a pegatron b foxconn c syntec d dsmc e st microelectronics in 15 seconds type in your answers in the comments below and also add any information you know about the apple brand or iphones the right answer is foxconn what is the rank secured by the energy resources institute tra of india as the climate think tank in the world Option A, first option B, second option C, fourth option D, sixth option E, eighth. Type in your answers in the comment box below. And if we know where is the headquarter of the Energy Resources Institute, that also can be given along with the right answer. And the right answer is second. Second is the rank India obtained uh, in the list released by the Energy Resources Institute for think tanks. Which bank has high proportion of bad loans in India? Option A Indian Overseas Bank, Option B IDBI Bank, Option C United Bank of India, Option D Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank Limited, Option E Bank of Maharashtra. Type in your answers in the comments below. The right answer is United Bank of India. Which company has published the Monopoly board game in India since 1987? Option A. Metal Inc. Option B. Fisher Price. Option C. Hasbro. Option D. Fun School India Limited. Option E. None of these. The right answer can be given in the comments below. And it was a very tough question that we know. The right answer is Fun School India Limited is the company which has launched Monopoly board game in India since 1987. Who was the first Indian woman to fly an aircraft? Option A. Bhavana Kant. Option B. Mohana Singh. Option C. Sarla Takral. Option D. Avani Chaturpeti. Option E. Trisha Mohan. The right answer is Sarla Takral. Which country tightens the visa norms that lead to layoff in major IT companies? Option A Australia, Option B United States, Option C England, Option D Russia, Option E Germany. And you got 15 seconds. Type in your answers with the exact answer in the comments. If you know any other additional information with regards to this question, you can type that also. The right answer is United States. Which of the following statement is not correct about GST? 1. GST is going to be collected at point of sale. 2. It will abolish all direct tax levied in India. 3. It will unify the tax structure in India. Option A 1 only, option B 2 only, option B, option C 3 only, option D 1 and 2 only, option E out of the above. The right answer is 2 only. It is going to abolish all direct tax levied in India is not correct about GST but the statements 1 and 3 are correct with respect to GST. Which of the following good will not be covered under the GST bill? Option A. Liquor. Option B. Petrol. Option C. Cooking gas. 
ऑप्शन डी एयर फ्यूअल ऑप्शन ई ऑल ऑफ दी अब इन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स टाइप इन यूर आंसर्स इन द कमेंट्स बिलो एंड इफ यू हैव एनी अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट हैज टू बी कन्वे टू अदर यूजर्स दैट ऑल्सो कैन बी एडेड इन द कमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग जी एस टी द राइट आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दी अब लिक्विड पेट्रोल कुकिंग गैस एयर फ्यूअल ऑल ऑफ दीज विल नॉट कम अंडर जी एस टी बिल Which of the following is correct regarding UK India Year of Culture 2017? 1. It was launched on 27 February 2017 at Buckingham Palace to mark a year-long celebration of the strong relationship shared between the UK and India. 2. Queen Elizabeth II hosted a gala event to mark the launch. 3. Guests watched an Indian dance performance entitled Ekam in the reception. The options are option A one only, option B two only, option C three only, option D one and two only, option D one two and three. The right answer is one, two, and three. ILO has released global estimates of modern slavery with which organization option A walk free foundation option B born free foundation option C be free foundation option D set free foundation option E go free foundation comment your answers with question number and the exact answers below and if you know any other details you can comment that also The right answer is Walk Free Foundation. Which of the following is correct regarding H-1B visa of USA? One, H-1B visa is to recruit and employ foreign professionals. Two, present minimum required salary to get H-1B visa is one lakh thirty thousand dollars. Three, the H-1B visa is valid for six years. Option A one only, option B two only, option C three only, option D one and three only, option E all of the three things. Type in your answers in the comments below. The right answer is all of the above. All three reasons are correct with regards to H-1B visas. Which yoga college in India is sponsoring China's Menzo University first master degree in yoga? Option A, Gujarat Ayurveda University. Option B, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. Option C, University of Patanjali. Option D, Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandana Samsthana. Option E, Rashtriya Sankrit Vidya Peeta. Tripathi. Type in your answers in the comments below, and if you know any other information regarding the University of China, you can also add that information. The right answer is Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandana Samsthana. Who is the Defence Secretary in United Kingdom? Option A, Liam Fox. Option B, David Davis. Option C, Michael Fallon. Option D, Boris Johnson. E, Chris Grayling. Type in your answers in the comments below, and if you know the Prime Minister of United Kingdom, that also can be added in the comments below so that the other users can know about the PM of United Kingdom. The right answer is. Michael Fallon Who is the newly appointed president of US India Business Council USIBC Option A Rajneesh Kumar Option B Mukesh Agi Option C Ami Haryani Option D Sanjeev Agarwal Option D Abhishek Kishore Type in your answers in the comments below
ग्रेट आंसर इज मुके जागी नेम द कैंपेन इन विच लंडन मेयर्स इज ऑफिशियली विजिटिंग इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान ऑप्शन ए लंडन इज ओपन ऑप्शन बी लंडन फॉर यू ऑप्शन सी बिजनेस इन लंडन ऑप्शन डी ट्रांसफर फॉर लंडन ऑप्शन ई लंडन टू गो The right answer is London is open. What is India's ranking in World Economic Forum annual report? Option A 54, option B 55, option C 58, option D 62, option E 74. Can guess your answer in 15 seconds. The right answer is 55. Which of the following are areas identified by Niti Aayog to engage in? 1 land leasing, 2 land acquisition, 3 land titling, 4 right to education act. Option A 1 and 2 only option B 1 and 3 only option C 2 and 3 only option D 2 and 4 only option E 1 2 and 3 You can type in your answers in the comments below but not only comment the answer and also add some information regarding Niti Aayog so that the users can know more about Niti Aayog The right answer is 1 2 and 3 Niti Aayog is not going to engage in right to education act as of now because there is no notification regarding Niti Aayog is going to participate in any of the event in right to education act Which of the following statements is correct regarding soil health card scheme 1 Gujarat was the first state to launch soil health card scheme Two, based on current status of soil health, carry crop-wise recommendations of nutrients and fertilizers required for the individual farms. Three, it also provides crop-wise nutrient recommendation and other inputs to, in order to increase the productivity of farms. Option A one only, option B two only, option C three only, option D one and two only, option E all of the above. Comment your answers with proper justification. The right answer is all of the above. Which of the following is correct regarding savings schemes? 1 EPF and PPF both are instruments offered by government of India. 2 in EPF employer contribute half of the contribution of employee. 3 Kisan Vikas Patra investments is 7.5% and mature in 115 months. Option A one only option B two only option C three only option D one and two only option E all of the above. The right answer is all of the above. Which navy warship foils private attack on Indian ship in Gulf of Aden? Option A INS Ganga, option B INS Trishul, option C INS Godavari, option D INS Gomati, option E INS Tabar. Type in your answers in the comments below with any additional information you know regarding navy warship foils. The right answer is INS Trishul. Which city would emerge as the major center for the technology in the next few years? Option A Visakhapatnam, option B Hyderabad, option C Chennai, option D Cochin, option E Mumbai. And you got 15 seconds to type in your correct answer in the comment below and add any information you know regarding the 
latest technology trends in the comments that must be useful to other users also. The right answer is Visakhapatnam. Which city is highly polluted in India in terms of particulate matter concentration? Option A Gwalior, Option B Allahabad, Option C Delhi, Option D Kanpur, Option E Lucknow. Type in your answers in the comments below and also add any other information you know regarding air pollution that must be a useful informative information to other students who are seeing this video. The right answer is Gwalior. Which of the following is correct regarding Betty Bacho Betty Pado scheme? 1. It is to save girl child, educate a girl child. 2. The scheme was launched with an initial funding of 100 crore. 3. International Day of Girl Child was observed on 10th October. A. 1 only, B. 2 only, C. 3 only, D. 1 and 2 only, E. All of the above. Type in your answers in the comments below and if you know any other information regarding Betty Batch or Betty Bado scheme that also can be added with your right answer. The right answer is 1 and 2 only. So International Day of Gale Child is not observed on 10th October. Which of the following comes under Ministry Ayush? 1. Akupuncture, 2. Yoga and Naturopathy, 3. Unani, 4. Siddha, 5. Homeopathy, 6. Ayurveda. Option A 1, 2, 3 and 6. Option B 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Option C 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Option D 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Option E all of these things. Type in your answers in the comments below. And if you like any of these medicines, Describe the reason why you like that medicine in the comments. The right answer is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Apart from acupuncture, everything comes under ministry or use. How many teams were going to participate in FIFA Under-17 World Cup? Option A 23, Option B 24, Option C 25, Option D 26, Option E 27. The right answer is 24. For the first time, Under-17 World Cup is going to be held in India this time. What is the name of the official ball for Under-17 Football World Cup by FIFA? Option A is Porter, Option B is Sakari, Option C is Option D Flying Hope, Option E none of these. The right answer is Krasava. Which country made first whitewash against Pakistan in test series? Option A India, Option B Australia, Option C Sri Lanka, Option D Bangladesh, Option E New Zealand. Australia is the right answer. Which country is ranked first in ICC T20 International Championship? Option A Australia, Option B India, Option C New Zealand, Option D West Indies, Option D South Africa. The right answer is New Zealand.
who is newly appointed governor of tamil nadu option a b d mishra option b jagdish mukhi option c e s l narasimhan option d banwari lal prohit option e om prakash kohli type in your answers in the comments below within 15 seconds from the start of this question and you can add any other information you know regarding tamil nadu in the comments which must be a informative content comment the right answer is banwari lal prohit which state to have the mega seed pack for 675 crore rupees option a kerala option b andhra pradesh option c punjab option d tamil nadu option e assam the right answer is andhra pradesh who became the first male santi that is head priest to be appointed from the rank list at a tdb temple option a kadagampalli surendran option b s sudhir kumar option c adu krishna option d akiraman kalidasan option e gyani deep singh The right answer is Yadu Krishna. With this, we have come to the end of this session on current affairs. Thank you for watching till the end. Please leave us your suggestion in the comment section below and we will get back to you. To get the instant notification, please click on the bell icon. Thank you.